and we can't buy any golf practice nets anywhere. What the hell is going on? I was gonna use some sheets on a washing line, but the missus won't let me use our own sheets. So I had to put an embarrassing Facebook status out there, pleading to family members if I could borrow their old sheets. I don't know how much longer I can go without hitting a ball. I need to come up with some sort of homemade contraption. So I sorted the sheet problem. So the simple situation would be, Put it over the washing line, but the missus won't let me hit it on the grass. So, is there anything else in this garden that you see that I could hang these on and make a net? That's because you don't think like me. In my head, this is going to work. Okay, so the idea is I have one sheet this side that takes the impact, and then one sheet this side at the back to stop the ball going any further. Again, that's what it should be in my head. Whether this works or not, different story. Okay, so the first bit didn't work. So now I'm ripping this one and trying to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, this is turning out harder than I thought. So we're recruiting hammer and nails. So if the ball does go through, it's got a second layer. Now, all I need to do is fit the first layer, the impact layer. So we've got a nail in place, but I don't think with this wind and making it balloon, that will be enough. So like every British male on earth, how do you reinforce something? Duct tape. Although I haven't got any of that, so it's sellotape. And now for the finishing touch. So with every good invention, you have to test it. Now we're not gonna jump straight into this. I'm gonna start with a wedge, chip into it, see if it holds, then work my way up to nine, eight, seven, see how much this can actually take. Okay, it holds with a wedge. We're gonna try an eight iron. Seven. So the first problem is quite clear. It's just not quite tall enough. That is a problem. So I'm a little bit closer, 
Then hit a full shot. You can probably see that I was using a three quarter swing with a sauna follow through. I then hit a full shot because I generally think even with a seven iron, I could get it over that little distance. So is it perfect? No. Does it keep me swinging? Yes. I'm happy with it. As long as I can hit real golf balls at quite a high club head speed, it's I'm pretty happy. I am proof that you have something around your house to make a net with. There's no excuses. Do it in your garden. Stay at home. Listen to the government rules. Go into your missus's wardrobe. Pull out her ward dressing gown. Sew it together with a dress that she don't like. I don't know. If you've got a wedding dress, put that. Just put anything together. I've got some old bed sheets, which I don't even know whose they are, which is even more worrying. And I have created this. All I'm going to be working on is three quarter swings, just nailing that back swing. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Finally, I can hit real golf balls. Tag me in your creations on Instagram or Facebook. I'd love to see who has got a wackier one than me. Pretty impressed with mine, to be fair. I just wish it was a little bit taller. But thank you so much for watching. If you've got this far, give this video a like. I'd very much appreciate it. And if you are new here, please subscribe. We will get through this golf pandemic together. Thank you so much again. Bye.